Hi, and welcome to the Night of the Dead. So we are going to attempt this game today. Now, I've played a couple of hours on it just to get a feel for the game, but I decided, you know what? I like it. We're going to see how it does on the channel. I'll put a couple of episodes out. If you guys like it, let me know. We'll continue on with it. And if we really don't like it, we will move on to something else. But at least we'll give it a shot. So let's start with grabbing stuff. Now, there's going to be a lot of talking from AI in here and everything like that. This is not a fresh human meat store, Mr. Zombie. I'm busy, so shuffle off to another store. A person? Are there still survivors on Andorna Island? Are you currently in an underground capsule room? Sleep capsules can sometimes cause trouble. I'm Dr. Veronica Grimes. I've been tirelessly searching for a cure for the zombie condition, but I haven't found one yet. But perhaps, just perhaps, you might hold the key to advancing my research. Is there even power in the bunker now? Find a light immediately and secure the line of sight. Okay, so we'll go and grab that light. We're just going to check to see if there's any more stuff in here for us to grab. I don't see anything. So the light is right here. So we're going to take that. So it tells us on the left side what it wants us to do. So we'll turn the light on and open the door and exit. Okay. You've just emerged from the stasis capsule. So you're probably wandering around without any clothes. Find something to wear and get dressed. Even if no one is around to see, let's keep some semblance of decency. Okay, we shall do so. So here, let's grab our clothing. So we've got old gloves, old shoes, and old clothes. Oh. Do you realize the situation you're in? Andorna Island is where the zombie mutation first occurred and everyone but you has fled. The world has been engulfed by the zombie thanks to the escapees from the island. And now humanity is on the brink of extinction. If you want to survive, you'll need to escape from that bunker. Exit the capsule room, open the yellow door, then move outside. It's good to have a habit of diligently recording tasks in a journal and checking them. Okay. Let's see what else we could loot in here. Not sure what we're going to need, so. Right now we're just going to take everything. That, I don't think there's anything in here. No, nothing in there. Okay. Uh, you have some stuff. Perfect. Okay, so you're empty. Uh, yes, we'll definitely take that. And I don't think there is... Yeah, there's nothing else in here for us. Okay, so it wants us to open the journal, so we'll do that. So this is the story itself. So we're going to go through the yellow door. Okay, let's do it. Surviving alone on that island is virtually impossible. However, I have a way to assist you. Of course, nothing in this world is free, is it? So I have an offer for you. Find the mutant substance hidden on the island. That material will be invaluable in my research for a zombie cure. Succeed, and I'll send a helicopter for your rescue. Now hurry. Open the large glass door, and you should see the exit to the bunker. Okay, we shall do that. Now, I did see stairs down here. I don't think we should go in there, though, because... Yeah, it, it looks like it's water, so... Uh, it's probably just flooded out. Okay, jump over obstacles. Let's see what you've got. Okay, it doesn't look like there's anything in here. Is something in there, though? Once 
you ascend to the surface, the real battle begins. Show me your skills and determination. I hope you won't disappoint. We'll try not to. So here, let's see if there's anything in the hallway for us to take. Which it doesn't seem like it, so let us keep on going. Okay, look at that. We are outside. You'll need to survive before you even think about finding the mutant substance. Understood? I've assembled the best team of experts for assistance. Heed their instructions diligently. Absorb the knowledge, and once everything is in place, begin your mission. Okay. Nice to meet you. My name is Sierra Wilder, a survival expert. From now on, I'll share all the survival knowledge I know with you. You might feel a bit stiff since you've just woken up. Let's start by loosening up your body. Okay. There are numerous resources required for survival. How about picking up noticeable small stones in the forest? Done it. Great. Now it's time to use that small stone to make a stone knife. Please open your inventory. You should be able to find the stone knife under the handmade tab on the right. Then craft it. Next. After humans disappeared from Andorna, flora and fauna began to thrive even more. Thanks to these changes, it's become easier to find the necessary materials in nature. Now, shall we gather some branches and leaves? Equip the stone knife you made, and when you cut the bushes, you should be able to get the materials you need. The bird's gone! The preparations to save humanity are progressing well. As the next step, we'll be crafting other tools necessary for survival. Shall we start by making an axe? Done. You're doing so well that it seems there's little I can assist with. But I'll still share some useful tips. Now let's gather some wood together. Trees are truly vital resources. They provide various materials essential for survival. Naturally, you'd use the axe you just made to chop them down, right? Okay, so you can't get too close to the tree. If you're too close, it doesn't break it. Take care. He's got to make sure you're back just a little bit, which I like. This is a little sense of reality. No, it's not working. Okay. Now it's time to gather stones and minerals. With a pickaxe, the gathering will be much smoother. Using the method you've just learned, try crafting a pickaxe. Okay. Great. Now let's use our crafted pickaxe to gather stones and minerals. If you look around carefully, You'll see plenty of rocks. By breaking those rocks, you can easily obtain stones. Shall we also look for ore? Ore is slightly shiny compared to regular rocks. Look for rocks with a black shine to find it. With just a bit of careful observation, you can gather the necessary materials. Okay, I think we're doing pretty good. So we've gotten some sulfur. I think I saw some copper. Getting stone, limestone. Not sure what else we've picked up so far. I'm gathering iron as well because it's saying destroy iron ore. Get one more boulder. Just need a regular rock. You know what you will do. Okay, let's get you down and see what else we have to do. Beautiful. Hey, ever wake up on a zombie island and feel like you're left alone? No. I'm Jamal Price, the mechanic. Thinking of hunting down that mutant material, huh? 
You're gonna need to bulk up a bit for that mission. Don't sweat it. Helping you gear up is kind of my thing. There are plenty of ways to get stronger. Crafting some high-end gear, upgrading what you've got, or advancing through tech research. How about we start with crafting some combat gear? I mean, you can't really face zombies with just gathering tools. You'll need a crafting bench for that. So, let's kick things off with that. Just set it up wherever. No need to overthink this one. Okay, so we need a crafting... Okay, so it's you that we need, and it looks like we got everything. Let's just plop you down here. The crafting bench is pretty handy, you know. Great for making and breaking down gear. All right, for starters, how about we whip up a pipe on that bench? I got your back. Okay, we need a pipe. So here, we've got everything, so craft that. I'm more of an up-close and personal kind of guy, but you. Looks like you could use some long-range firepower. Try crafting a bow at the bench. Okay, we'll take that there. Maybe we'll put the pipe down here. You can't just have a bow and no arrows, right? You'll need some arrows. Making arrows isn't that tough. Open up your inventory and craft some arrows under the handmade tab. Um... Yeah, we'll, we'll do that because, okay, that's a piece of iron and that's branch. You know what? Yeah, let's make that many arrows just to be safe. All right, let me show you how to use that gear you just crafted. Equip that bow of yours and shoot an arrow towards our lovely crafting bench. If the arrow sticks into the bench, you can pull it out and use it again. Here we go. So, where to next? Oh, wait a sec. Don't just leave that crafting bench behind. That's a waste of good resources. To dismantle it, you'll need a hammer. Pop open your inventory and let's craft one. Next. Once you've got that hammer equipped, there's a bunch you can do with it. Hold that hammer and give our worn-out crafting bench some TLC. But remember, fixing things up takes materials. Always keep those repair resources handy. Okay. Equip that hammer and head over to the crafting bench to start the dismantling. You'll recover some of the materials you used on it, so it's all good. Here we go. Listen up, soldier. I am Captain Axton Hawkins. Obey my commands and learn the skills to survive on the battlefield. Shed that weak spirit and adopt the true mindset of a soldier. This is the only way for us to survive this war. As you advance along the front lines, you'll inevitably face the zombies. When the time arrives, Utilize the skills you've acquired to strike and evade at the appropriate times. Safely defeat the zombies. Got it? Okay. I'm not sure if we're going to have any zombies, but you know what? We're going to grab some of this stuff along the way. <laughs> uh, we'll go and find one. We can use all the goodies here. Now, when it comes to stones and trees, well, they're everywhere, so I'm not going to worry about picking those up right now. Ooh, we got another level up. Nice. Okay, that's perfect. Probably going to find some zombies in this little area up ahead from us. Nope, I didn't want to do that. Oh, it's like that. Okay. Ooh, a cell. Okay, let's try that once more. There we go. Thought I had to destroy it. 
I'm kind of happy we didn't. Yeah, there's got to be some zombies around here. Now we're going to have to find a nice place to build. That's going to be interesting. Not seeing... Oh, I think I see a zombie up ahead. Right there. Might have some inside this house here, too. Uh, we'll take you. Thank you very much. Need a wrench. Okay, we don't have a wrench. Oh, yeah, there's one. Smacked him. Try that again. Come on. How many more is it going to take to take you out? There we go. Good. On the battlefield, everything around you can be a tool for survival. Break objects you find on the way, like cardboard boxes and barrels, using your standard issue gear. There's no special preparation needed. The standard gear is already provided to all of you. Got that? There's another guy in there. Ah, greetings. The name's Gilbert Foster. I've been assigned to guide you in building your survival base. A survival base isn't just a refuge. It can be the heart of various crafting activities. And it all starts with a solid foundation. How about you start by finding the right spot and open the construction menu to lay down that foundation? Okay, that is what we're going to do. We're going to just do some more looting around here. And we're going to go see if we can find the perfect spot to build. I don't know if there's anybody else in here. <laughs> um... gonna loot everything oh I'll take that thank you very much it doesn't look like there's anybody else in here cloth rope arrows yeah <laughs> I need my arrows back here we go. Oh. Okay. Um, I think this might be better than what we're wearing. So we're going to find out in just a second. So let's see. We've only got old stuff here. We could put that on. Um, definitely put the ring on. Leather glove, superior, superior, common. Okay, that works. I don't know what else we picked here. So, oh, this is ammo. Oh, okay. Mechanical repair kit, equipment repair kit. Interesting. But we are filling up our inventory pretty quickly. So I just want to check something here. So we've got some points. Um... Let's see. I want to try to keep a somewhat, what do you call it there, level or balanced. Um, let's add a little bit to that. And maybe one to endurance. Okay, that's not so bad. Was there anything else I wanted to check? Um, nothing in there. Okay, yeah, I think we're good. So once we could get a research table down, that's going to help us out. <laughs> Let's just keep looking for a perfect place to build 
Yeah, that research stat is definitely going to come in handy. You've already leveled up quite a bit. When you earn experience and level up, you gain an ability point. Using that point, you can enhance various abilities in the character info window. Would you like to check how much stronger you've become? No, Matt, no, you need to go down. Why are you on fire? Oh, is that one of my abilities? I have to check that out. There, take everything. There we go. Oh, fire. Yeah. Okay. I guess uh, we set things on fire. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. Thank you very much. Like, I don't want to build too close to town. Hmm. Oh, we got another guy right there. Let's try this. Oh yeah, they're on fire. Oh, we're doing good. Oh, I like that. There we go. <laughs> What'd you scream for? There we go. Oh, that was fun. We could set them on fire. I like that. Yeah, maybe we'll just build off into the distance over here. Not too close, not too far. Okay, that's nothing. Yeah, this is a huge map. Like, if I open this, look at that. Why do we have a circle there? Hmm. Interesting. Okay, that's fine. But yeah, it's a huge map for us to explore. <laughs> there we go. Now, the thing with this game is you get a horde every night. So right now we have the game set to three hours, so... We shouldn't get a horde every episode, so I think it's going to be kind of balanced. Here, let's take that. But yeah, trying to get a good horde base is uh, going to be fun. Oh, we've got water here. Okay. You know what? I think we could probably build here. Yeah, okay, I'm going to do that. We're going to start building here. So we need to do a foundation. So here, we'll build. Start, I guess, here. There we go. How about expanding the foundation further? First, as okay. before, select the foundation in the construction window and build. Then, there we when go. you can see the blueprint of the foundation, Turn on the snap function during construction. This feature allows your new construction to align and attach seamlessly with previously built structures. What's next? Now with the snap function activated, try extending your foundation by one more squares. Ah, you're following along splendidly. <laughs> when constructing buildings, remember you have the option to adjust the height. Try experimenting with the foundation's height as you build. Also, you'll need a considerable amount of logs for constructing a survival base. It's essential to consistently chop down trees and collect logs. Think of yourself as a diligent beaver, tirelessly gathering wood. Oh. Did you know that beavers are quite the expert builders in the animal kingdom? But for now, let's focus on building your survival base. <laughs> We can dive into the fascinating world of beavers at another time. Okay, buddy. Back up a bit. We're too close. Okay, let's add one more foundation. Now. 
Next, let's install some stairs to reach the higher levels of your foundation. Hey? By using the building rotation feature, you should be able to attach the stairs to the foundation. And with that, your survival base is nearing completion. Simple, right? A there we tip. go. During construction, if you check the bottom section, you'll find various handy features displayed. I haven't told you about all of them, so I'd recommend familiarizing yourself with them by checking personally. Okay. How do you find your survival base? Quite cozy and comfortable, isn't it? Yeah. To expand your base, you'll need to secure a lot of logs through logging. Hard work is ahead, just like a beaver. Speaking of beavers, how much do you know about them? Beavers truly adore trees. <laughs> the soft inner wood serves as their food, and they use it to construct magnificent dams. Yes. It would be a grave mistake to dismiss them as small and cute animals. Despite their size, they have powerful teeth capable of easily felling large trees. But if you were to try and chop wood with your front teeth like a beaver, I suspect you'd find yourself on a trip to the hospital. So how can humans process wood? The answer lies in the crafting bench. With it, you can transform logs into processed materials like wooden planks. Now, I recommend you construct a crafting bench and start processing your wood. Okay, so material production workbench. We shall attempt to build one of those. So let's see. Material, that's equipment. Material, okay, we need one of you. So uh, I'm not sure where I'm gonna put you. So let's, let's put you here. Perfect. Craft wooden plank, okay. So I think we need a four. And I need one lumber. The crafting bench allows you to process a wide array of resources. Besides wood, it can handle stones and ores as well. However, to unlock these features, you'll need to upgrade the crafting bench first. Okay. You will use the hammer you prepared earlier for this task. Of course, make sure to gather all the necessary materials before you begin. Now grab your hammer, upgrade the crafting bench, and take a stab at stone processing. Okay, we're going to try it. Craft five bricks. Processing ores is a vital step. Especially the variety of materials derived from ores are essential for fortifying your survival base and crafting various tools and weapons. This will ensure you're better safeguarded from the threat of zombies. You already know the drill from earlier, haven't you? Get your hammer and the necessary materials ready, then proceed to upgrade the crafting bench. Now delve into ore processing. Okay, let us make two co uh, two iron and one copper wire. So two iron. And we need one copper wire, but we need one copper ingot. And I don't have enough branches for that. Okay, let's go and get some branches. I think we can get them from you guys, right? No, that's vines. Here, let's try this again. We're trying. What do we have? We've got two branches. Need more. Okay, we're getting some branches. This is good. We've got a seed. Okay, I think we have enough now. So let's go and see about making our copper wire. So first things first, we need you. And then I can make you. Done. 
Creating things by hand is both satisfying and enjoyable, wouldn't you agree? Feeling uncertain. There's no need to worry. The item crafting bench has got your back. You can easily produce intricate items like nails, gears, ropes, and plastics that might be tough to make by hand. Why not give it a try? You'll be able to create wonderful things with it. Three nails. And three rope. Ah, no, 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 don't do that. Who said three? Okay, that makes that done. I imagine you must be quite worn out from the relentless struggle yes. to survive. Definitely. You know, to soothe that weary body of yours, how about setting up a sleeping bag? It could provide a wonderful spot to rest and momentarily rejuvenate your weary body. Okay. So first things first, let's get a couple of more foundations going on this because, uh, yeah, we've got a lot to do here. So this should be a good place for our base. Now, I don't know what I'm going to do about a horde base. Oh, I see another zombie over there. But I'm not going to worry about him. He's quite far away, so we shouldn't have to deal with him. No, a little closer. Come on. I just want to get maybe... At least two more foundations, if possible. Come on, you could do it. No, get a little closer. No, no, no. Break it. I guess with time, I'll eventually figure out how to <laughs> cut these trees perfectly. So here, let's go and check to see if we can get at least... I want to try at least two more here. If I could get another three along the back, that's going to be even better. So here, let's try that. No, down here. Um. There we go. Oh, well, we're going to try. I'm not going to put it through the rock. We might need that rock for something. And before I do any more, I'm going to take this away in case we need whatever it offers us. We might need the leaf and the vine. You never know, right? Okay, I think that is large enough for us now. Okay, this... It's a start. <laughs> I'm not sure the building capabilities of this game, so just bear with me, guys. So we need to go into B for building and need a sleeping bag. Okay, and a sleeping bag. We have everything. Okay. Not sure where I want to put it. Um, here, let's just put it there for now. If we have to, we could probably move it. Now that you've set up the sleeping bag, how about taking a little rest? They say okay. rest is the best medicine to regain one's strength. However, it won't restore your diminished energy. After all, you won't be eating while you're asleep. So go ahead and take a break in the sleeping bag. Okay, done. What's next? All right, take a decent break and let's continue with the rest of today's tasks. We can't let those zombies targeting you win, can we? If the zombies attack and you lose all your health, you won't have the strength to flee anymore. Nope. At that moment, you'll need to move to a safe place to avoid being killed and having all your flesh torn up by the zombies. Oh, he's smart. So, it seems like a good idea to set a respawn point at the sleeping bag. Setting a respawn point will allow you to move to a safe location, even in such dire circumstances. Okay. Now go set your respawn point at the sleeping bag. Done. Now that we feel somewhat secure, shall we move on to the next step? Yes. To become a proficient technician, research and study are paramount. Ooh. Back in my youth, I constantly pursued knowledge and never stopped studying. 
The research bench is precisely where you can Let's acquire new insights. Oh, I can feel the excitement already. Hurry and construct the research bench. Um, research. We need one more plank and one more lumber. Okay, that's that's easy enough. Uh, plank, plank is here. So a lumber and a plank. Now we should. Yes. So we're gonna put you right in the back here because I don't know where else to put you right now. <laughs> Do you think knowledge will automatically flow into your mind just by having a research bench? Yes. Absolutely not. Ah. To conduct research, research materials are essential. It's about utilizing the data contained within those materials. You can obtain research materials in various ways. You might find materials that people once used scattered about, or you can even craft them using the crafting bench. If it seems difficult, don't hesitate to ask me. I truly enjoy sharing knowledge. Shall we start gathering some research materials? Yes, we should. You have both the research bench and the research materials ready. Shall we start with the most important research in order? In that case, it would be appropriate to study engineering. By researching engineering, you can craft an item called a trap machine. Wondering what a trap machine is? It might be a bit early to explain right now, but don't worry, you'll find out soon. Let's begin with the engineering research step by step. Okay, we got that. You've completed the engineering research. Well done. <laughs> Do you feel like you've gained new knowledge? No. Now we can construct automated traps that are much more efficient than primitive ones, like wooden spikes. To operate these automated traps, significant power is required, right? That power comes from the trap machine. Okay. To survive on your own, you'll need many automated traps. This means you'll need a lot of trap machines. Oh, to craft the trap machine, head to the item crafting bench. If you're lacking materials like copper or iron for production, you can mine ores with a pickaxe. Shall we try crafting the trap machine now? And yes, we're going to try and craft that. So, let's go. And trap machine, I think you're, are you here? No, you're not here. Um, here maybe? Yeah, okay, so we need one rubber and one gear. So rubber, we can make one. And gear, we can make that as well. Now I'm missing one iron. Okay, that's not too bad. So here, let's do that. Get one of you done. Go back to here. <laughs> and we're going to make you. We're done. The time has finally come to use that trap machine. Before setting up traps, it's best to have a well thought out strategy. At night, zombie senses become much sharper, making them trace survivors. To deal with these creatures, creating a kill zone is the most effective approach. You'll use a strategy where you act as bait and lure the zombies into the kill zone. But there's one thing you must remember. If the zombies can't reach you, they'll start destroying your buildings. I made that mistake in the past and almost faced grave consequences. So let's plan in such a way to lure the zombies efficiently. Now shall we create a kill zone in your survival base? I will, but just a few minutes because I need to get rid of that. Collect research materials. It's sitting on the screen and I'm not sure why it's stuck there. So I'm going to see if grabbing some research will get rid of it. Hmm. Not sure it's going to work. We're going to keep on going though. We have a little bit of time, so why not, right? 
This is going to give us some pieces of iron as well. Ooh, and crude oil. Beautiful. Okay, I don't know if we're going to be able to get rid of it. Uh, maybe after restart of the, the game. Uh, we will take that. Thank you very much. Maybe we'll go through the town and see if we can get some more. Because I really think we are going to be needing to get some more inventory space going. And for that, we need to do some research. So we'll have to see if we can do that. Now we need some storage as well, because we're gonna have to empty a bunch of stuff. Soldier, looks like you've drained all your stamina. Every action you take consumes stamina. And remember, once you've run out of stamina, your health starts to drop. You could lose your life in such situations. When your health is low, you need to be particularly cautious. Negligence on the battlefield is never tolerated. Understood? Got it. Okay. So let me see. Uh, what are you? No. Vehicle? No. Combat? Utility? Hmm. Oh, there we go. Okay. Let's uh, research that. Oh, I don't have enough to research it. This is what I need. That's a plus 12. Okay, that's fine. Just close that and we'll get back to that after. So we need to build a trap. Is it you? Okay, definitely not you. Um, those are locked. Hmm. Is there another bench that we're going to have to put together? I wonder. Yeah, we're not getting any of our health back. Okay. We have to get our energy up, I think, for that to work. Let's see. Crafting workbench. Used to craft components. Cooking table. Well, it's stuck there, so I don't know how to get through. Do that part. Uh, number two. Okay. It seems as... Oh, there we go. It's in the B. B cutter. Okay. Okay. So B cutter. Oh, okay. Um, you. Ooh. We need another nail, another rope, some planks, lumber, and iron. Okay. So, let's see. I'm going to make a nail, a rope. Um. Lumber. And iron. And I'm not sure what else we're going to need. <laughs> okay, so we need one more lumber and three planks. Okay, not so bad. So one more lumber. And three of you. That should do it, right? Yes. Okay, we're going to build you. And I'm going to put you right here at the bottom of the stairs. Because <laughs> I don't know where else to put you right now. So there we go. We've got that built. So I don't know what else we have to do. So what we're going to do is we're going to go and gather some more stuff, but I think we should put a storage box together. So storage. Storage. So we need five nails and two planks. Five nails, two planks. Uh, maybe we'll do two. Here, we'll do four planks. And... Oh, 10 nails, 10 nails. Okay. 
And perfect. To survive on your own, you need to carry various items in your inventory. You can't just carry everything around indiscriminately. Because the space in your inventory is limited. It's a good idea to only keep what's necessary and organize the rest well. Then, let's build a storage box in the survival base and store items there. Okay, so I don't know what we should be carrying on us. Obviously, we need these. We need the tools. Wait, why do... Do we have duplicates? No, we don't have duplicates. There, you go there. I, I don't know why... I don't see my axe in here. Oh, uh, here. Put this in. Put it all. Okay. We'll keep our arrows. Keep you. Keep you. Okay. And you can go in here. Now, if we're going to do repairs, I don't know what we actually need to do repairs. So, we'll worry about that as we go along. So, um... That and that. And okay, well, hold on to branches. And we can hold on to the apples. That's a good start. So, here, let's go and explore a little bit over here. And we'll see what we have to get in this area here. Come on. You're not on fire. Why aren't you on fire? Okay, you need to die right about now. There we go. <laughs> Take that. Thank you very much. We're just going to check to see our points. So, let's see. So, that's. Hmm. We increase our vitality up to five. Increase strength to six and endurance to six. Okay, so that didn't give us anything different, but still, we've got our numbers up, so that's good. Oh, wow. There we go. Ooh, that was a nice shot. Come here. I will take everything. Thank you very much. Oh, where's my arrows? Oh, did we lose those? <laughs> I think we did. So we're just going to have to make sure that we have quite a few arrows on us. All right, we'll just pick up some more stones. It's not going to hurt, right? What else do we have over here? I just want to see if we can get our research for our inventory going. Yeah, let's see if there's anybody over here. There's people in here. try and do this oh okay I'm gonna stab him there we go oh you're a big boy okay got him though well it seems you're fairly prepared now with this level of readiness, you stand a fighting chance while searching for the mutant substance. Let's head to the nearest research center. This center was previously the hub for the New Humanity Project. And it was there that the mutant substance initially emerged. I am leaning towards the belief that it could be the root cause of this horrific situation. Well, there's the possibility that I might be wrong. Open the map, pinpoint the location, and get moving. Time is continually ticking away. 
Okay. It seems you've acquired a shield, soldier. A shield is traditionally known as equipment designed to defend against enemy attacks. Do you think the same? However, using a shield solely for defensive purposes in actual combat is a novice's move. If you block an enemy strike accurately with a shield, you get an opportunity to counterattack. It allows you to strike back. But if you rely on the shield indiscriminately, your posture will collapse, putting you at risk. Therefore, it's paramount to constantly monitor and manage your guard stamina. Keep this in mind and achieve victory in the battle against the zombies. We're trying. <gasps> okay, so we can make a shield. Uh, we still have to prepare ourselves because in nine hours time we are going to get hit with a horde. Okay, let's just go a little bit more this way. And let's see, what do we have now? We have 31 research. Okay, so we could expand our inventory. So we're going to go and do that. And then I think we should call it there. And it will probably come back. And I think what we'll do in the next episode is we're going to get prepared for our horde. So we might put like a bunch of stuff around here. But yeah, research. And where was it? You. Yeah, let's do that. So now if we go into our inventory, we've got an extra two rows down here. So that is perfect. That should help us out. But I am going to end there, guys. And on that note, I wish you all a good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. And I'll see you in the next episode. Take care.